So I still have those Christmas cards to do, and I just broke tradition. Um, usually my first movie I watch is always Holiday in Handcuffs, but I found the holder for Holiday in Handcuffs, even the sleeve that goes on top of the holder, but no Holiday in Handcuffs. So we watched, Chris, me, myself, and I, and the cats, and the dog watched Christmas Bell, but that's besides the point. So, Disney, a storybook library, advent calendar. We read the first two stories. So, we got to find the third story. <gasps> there it is. And it is Dumbo's Snowy Day. Nothing on the back of this one. Just saying Autumn Publishing sold as part of a set, not for resale. And it is Dumbo's snowy day. One chilly day, the circus animals were in their way to a new town, but their train, Casey Jr., was struggling to get through the following sn falling snow. His wheels slid on an icy railroad track, and finally Casey Jr. decided he was just too dangerous to keep going. The train came to a stop and waited for the snow to pass. Dumbo was happy that the train had stopped, but he'd never played in the snow before. He thought it felt very strange as he tried to walk through it. His mother, Mrs. Jumbo, encouraged him. You can do it, she said. Soon, Dumbo got the hang of walking through the snow. All morning, Dumbo and his mother played in the snow. They gathered snowballs together and with their trunks, they made snow elephants, even played hide and seek. But as Dumbo and his mother explored, they got farther and farther away from the train. Suddenly, Dumbo slid down a steep hill. He called after his mother to follow him. But when she reached the bottom of the hill, Mrs. Jumbo realized she couldn't climb back up. Dumbo tried to push he tried to pull, but nothing worked. Mrs. Jumbo slipped farther down the slope toward the sharp edge of a cliff. You will have to fly off and get help, she told Dumbo. So Dumbo flew off as fast as he, his ears would take him. As he soared toward the train, the wind began to blow. It pushed harder and harder against him. Finally, Dumbo's ears got so cold, he couldn't fly. He worried about his mother while he waited for the wind to pass. Once the wind died down, Dumbo raced to the train. He gathered all the animals together so that they could help. What are we waiting for? Timothy Mouse cried. We've got to save Mrs. Jumbo. Dumbo led his friends back to the cliff. By the time they found Mrs. Jumbo, the windstorm had pushed her even closer to the cliff's edge. The animals knew they had to think of something and fast. Oh dear, worried the giraffe. How can we get down there to help? Timothy snapped his fingers. He had an idea. Everybody line up. He shouted. He ordered the animals to grab one another's tail. At the front of the line, the ostrich leaned over the cliff to take hold of Mrs. Jumbo's trunk. One, two, Three, pull, yelled Timothy. The animals worked together, huffing and a-puffing, pulling and a-stretching until Mrs. Dumbo had made it safely to the top of the cliff. But suddenly there was a loud crack. The cliff gave way and the animals tumbled down. Watch out, yelled the hippo. Yikes, cried the monkey. Uh-oh, said the giraffe. And help, shouted the bear. All of the animals tumbled together and rolled down the hill. Before long, they became a giant snowball. How do you stop this thing, called Timothy as they zoomed along. The snowball gathered speed until... Crash, bang, boom, oof. The animal snowball hit the bottom of the hill and broke apart. Is everyone okay, Timothy asked as he straightened his hat. Luckily, everyone was fine, just a little dizzy from their unexpected snowball ride. 
All the animals began walking up back up to the train. Walking wasn't nearly as fast as riding the snowball, but it was a lot less scary. That night, Mrs. Jumbo gave Dumbo a warm bath. Thank you for flying to, to find help today, she said to her son. Dumbo smiled and blew a trunk full of water over his head. Hey, don't forget about me, said Timothy from the teacup bath. I helped too. Mrs. Jumbo nodded. You certainly did. Thank you. Aw, oh, gee, Timothy, said Timothy. It was nothing, nothing at all. Nothing at all. And that was the end of that cute little story. That was a very cute little story. Okay, that was day three in the Disney Storybook Advent Calendar. We're going to catch up to six, so don't go nowhere.